Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the old Verbal Widget channel. I uh, dug the old XR650 out from the depths of the garage. I've been riding those yellow bikes. Um, anyway, I've done a few little changes. I uh, rode it the other day and it seemed to be doing okay. It's running good and everything. Check the plugs. Plugs are doing good. Tires were still aired up. Um, I didn't realize it had been so long since I rode this that my plates were out of date. So uh, I was going to go on a ride the other day and uh, I had to renew my plates instead. So uh, one thing, um, in Arizona we've already had our 100 degree temperatures. And uh, so I think everyone or most people know I have this uh, Sutton oil cooler on. and. For me, it didn't really give me the results I was wanting. Um, I only saw about 15, maybe 20 degrees temperature drop. And I was going by my XRs only, uh, the steering, uh, or the steering, uh, the frame uh, oil gauge. And, um, you know, but I installed this right at the beginning of cool weather last year. I mean, you know, after our 90 degree days were over. We've already had 100 degrees days. Um, so anyway, I I was in the garage and I had this scoop. It's actually the scoop that goes on the stock tank on this side. I removed the, plas the black plastic from the inner piece. I made a bracket, just a simple little kind of L-shaped bracket. Put a uh, bolt and a big washer on it and stuff. And I took it for a ride uh, last night. Let me get this up so I get some air. Um, the problem I had, and, and I know this looks kind of hokey, but I was thinking I'm just going to do like a little triangle shaped plate and then uh, it'll hold on that with a bolt going through. Um, but anyway, so I just have the zip ties there. This is still under testing. This is my Skunk Works edition. Um, but anyway, when I was riding it uh, yesterday, the bottom of the scoop, since there was no attaching points, it was flying out like this. It wasn't coming off, but... You know, it didn't look very reassuring. So I thought, well, I'll take it for a ride today. And uh, all I did was take a piece of aviation safety wire, uh, or loop it through here. And I was going down the road 70 miles an hour, and it was perfect. And so I know it is scooping more air into the, uh, to the cooler and into my uh, engine. And the corner of this thing, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cable guide for the clutch cable. And I have the, it's a pointed corner, and I just have that kind of wedged into that cable guide. And so that's sitting there. You can't see it. I have this holding it here, and I have one bracket here just made out of a piece of scrap, uh, aluminum, metal, and then uh, this. But, I mean, this is actually working pretty good. And uh, the other thing I did is I wanted to kind of get another temperature basis. Um, between this and the DR650, because the DR650 has just a huge cooler on it. Um, my sender unit um, that reads up to the Trail Tech Voyager, it's a, it'll work on this, but it's a different, it's a different size. It's a larger 12 millimeter for the uh, uh, DR650. So I'm using this. It's like 3M foil tape, and I'm holding it on with that. And I was surprised, it's actually um, holding it very well. So it's gonna read off the side. This way I can duplicate the readings on my DR650. I almost said DRZ, uh, my DR650. That way I can duplicate the readings. Um, uh, you know, if I mount it on the side of this, on the outside, and if I mount it on the side of the DRZ, I'm sorry, the DR650, there you go. Um, I can replicate it pretty close. Um, because these uh, sensors, that's, they're supposed to screw onto like the spark plug and stuff for the head or a bolt, but uh, they're just a different size. This, this is a 10 millimeter for this one. 
the Suzuki's a 12 and they're like 35 bucks. Um, so this is the cheap way of doing it. Side of the uh, oil cooler is side of the oil cooler. Um, so that way I can use the same sensor and the same Voyager Trail Tech unit on each bike. So, but anyway, yeah, this is my scoop. Um, you know, I had a guy comment on the cooler saying it was kind of a fluff thing, but you know, Arizona here, um, we're, we've already had 100 degree days and we are, let's see, it's mid-May right now. Um, we're just getting into our hot weather where it's 100 degrees at night, you know, no lie. Um, in fact, over 100 degrees. Um, I've opened the July, August sometimes. It's 105, uh, 108 degrees at night. When I used to fly out of the Sky Harbor, sometimes I'd be going to work at 11 o'clock at night and uh, the time temperature sign would say like 111 degrees and you're going, Jesus Christ. So, um, so for me out here in the desert, I'm trying to keep the temperatures as cool as I can get them. Um, because I think that's, from what I've noticed on like Craigslist and some of the advertisements, seems like people get a little more life out of their DR650 than the XR650s. And XR650s, I've been on some of the forums, um, where... They talk about um, sticking the valves in these because the heads get so hot and stuff. And so, you know, the cooler's 300 bucks. It's cheap insurance. You know, if I was to pull this thing apart and have the valves redone, it'd be way over that. Um, but anyway, I don't think it looks too bad. Make sure I don't get run over. Um, yeah, it's the same Honda color. Um, looks looks very factory. Once I get this little piece for this made, um, yeah, and it's working good. I will make another bracket for that but for right now for my testing that's doing pretty good uh i haven't really done anything else to it um really just a i uh, got the shark fin for the bottom because i broke that thing again so i'm done breaking those and uh yeah other than that you know that's really about it i'm just trying to get the uh, cooling situation done so but i noticed when this one didn't have the wire uh supporting it God, this thing was sucking a lot of air, so, and it allows the air to come in, but then it's got that kind of natural flow that Honda gave it to go right over the cylinder fin. So, uh, year is on the guys that got XR650Ls. Um, I, I was going to say, even if you don't have the cooler, but I guess you kind of need this bracket unless you can run something else, you know. But uh, I think this scoop's going to be kind of a good deal. Uh, I used to race air cooled Suzuki RM500s and, uh, you know, um, this was kind of a trick for them. And also uh, Yamaha on their old YZ490s, uh, air-cooled. Um, they ran a, a scoop on the side to bring more air in. So um, anyway, that's where we're sitting now. I'm just going to take it for a test drive. And uh, yeah, it's getting out of the house. I've just been kind of hanging around. I had the tank off to wrap this wire and stuff like that and do something else. And um, um so I checked the plug, and God, the plug was perfect. I mean, it was literally perfect. So jetting's all done. So uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to hop back on this thing, go for a ride. I'll leave the camera on, and then I'll kind of lean over the side like this, let you see that there's really no movement. So, And I kind of did one semi-smart thing. I don't do a whole lot of smart things, but... Uh, um, I was on the um, Nelson Riggs websites, and the straps for the tank bags were like nine bucks a piece. It's always such a pain in the rear because I use the same bags on everything. I'm not going to buy a separate set of bags for each bike. So anyway, yeah, for nine dollars, I just left the set on the DRZ 250. Um, you know, the back saddle bag, sometimes they don't run, but um, I always run a tank bag now. So, um, anyway, I left the set, my old set, on the DRZ 250. I have this set here for the XR650L, and then I have another set I haven't yet put on yet for the DR650. Because sometimes it's like, oh, I don't want to have to undo these and do that. So, it's just kind of a little smart thing, but yeah, let's go for a ride. Yeah, today's actually kind of cool here. It's uh, 91 degrees. So, 
like I said, I'm just going to let it run. But yeah, see, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's perfect. That was one of the things I was thinking was maybe it's not, because I've held my hand down there before and there's not a lot of wind. So I thought, well, maybe it's not really getting enough air going through that cooler to give me the drop I was hoping for. I guess I uh, got carried away. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, the scoop works good. I'm. It's got to be pulling more air into the. In fact, I can feel it. I can literally feel it blowing air. Yeah, the air's dead on the outside, of course. But where that opening in is in the back, there's like a solid stream of air, and I'm only doing 40. So, I think it's a good move, guys. If you got the oil cooler, you got the brackets, or, if, you know, I just used an old junk uh, uh, wing off the stock tank. It wasn't a very good one, but I figured it'd be great for uh, cutting it up and stuff. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm plenty happy. Yeah, it's so nice to be back on the XR. I always forget, I, you know, I ride that DR650 and, uh, um, you know, it's a good bike. Uh, Bob wire, yeah, nice. Um, yeah, DR650 is good and stuff, but, uh, you know, I ride this and, you know, if I was to keep one 650, which I've actually been kind of thinking about, um, it would be this one. Uh, just because this can off-road and the DR650 is kind of limited so so what else is new uh, I haven't been posting anything I've been uh, um, getting ready to move I actually thought I had to move out of my place I rent the place um, I thought I had to move the end of May and then I found the lease and it's like oh I don't have to move till in the June so that's kind of nice but I've been trying to get rid of stuff and, um, you know, just trying to thin out what I have. Because it gets to where you have so much stuff and I don't use it. A lot of stuff I don't use. Um, so I'm just trying to thin out my junk. Uh, so that's, that's about it. It's, uh, ooh, 91 now. I'm just cruising around, see what the temperatures are going to be doing without much uh, air going through. So I'm showing 178 on this, which reads off the side of the oil cooler. And on the XRs only uh, in the frame, in the dipstick uh, temperature gauge, I'm showing about 2, 205. And now this is up to 183. So 